If I was to say to you, commercial rotary lawnmowers, you would probably think either Honda, Hater, Weebang, Lawn Flight Pro, and many others. But today, we are looking at battery-powered commercial mowers. Love or hate battery, we are gonna see what the pros, cons, benefits, how good they are, what you get included for your money, in this video. We're Machinery Nation. We bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about tools and machinery. So please consider subscribing and hit that like button. Tested by Machinery Nation. From still, we have the RMA 765V, which has a 25 inch dual blade system. Runs on either their 36 volt AR3000 backpack battery or two AP batteries with the adapter. Has variable speed drive, an 80 litre grass bag, weighs 54 kilos with the battery, has a decibel rating of 93 and can be fitted with an optional mulch kit. From Toro we have the 22276 which has a 21 inch cutting system, runs on their 60 volt batteries, has variable speed drive, a 77 litre grass bag, weighs 46 kilos with the battery, has a decibel rating of 93 and comes with a mulching kit. From Milwaukee, we have the M18 F2 LM53, which has a 21 inch cut system, runs on two of their 18 volt batteries, has variable speed drive, a 70 litre grass bag, weighs 38.5 kilos with the batteries, has a decibel rating of 93.3, and comes with a mulch plug and rear side discharge chute. From Makita, we have the LM001CZ BL LXT, which has a 21 inch cutting system runs on either their 36 volt PDC 1200 backpack battery or four 18 volt LXT batteries using the adapter. Has variable speed drive, a 70 litre grass bag, weighs 49.5 kilos with the battery, has a decibel rating of 92 and comes with a mulch kit and side discharge chute. From Karcher we have the LM530 36 BP which has a 21 inch cutting system, runs on their 36 volt platform, has variable speed drive, a 70 litre grass bag, weighs 41 kilos with the batteries, has a decibel rating of 95 and comes with a mulch kit. And from AS Motor, we have the AS531E Pro Cut B, which has a 21 inch cutting system, runs on the Ego 56 battery platform, has variable speed drive, a 75 litre grass bag, weighs 60.8 kilos with the batteries, has a decibel rating of 90, and comes with a mulch kit. So the still twin cut battery mower, what a weapon, twin bladed battery power. Love it. User friendly controls, front one controls the drive, the back one controls your blade, that controls your speed, and you can turn it on and off and put it into eco mode. The mono handle design, yes, just one handle up the side. It is very, very strong, stronger than it looks, I can promise you. But the best thing about it, you can come in and grab your grass box, take it off and take it out the way without any trouble at all. Again, putting it back on very, very easy. You haven't got that bar in the way. Whereas if you have to do that normally, you have to go take the box off, drop it down and then go in underneath the handles. Love the mono handle design. It is also adjustable for the taller or shorter gardener. Just on the button, press that and you can adjust the height. And then when you're ready, you can fold it right over, take the grass box off and then you can stand it up on its back end for storage or in a van. Strong, solid, single height adjustment on each wheel. Aluminium wheels with a proper tyre, front caster wheels to make it easier in awkward areas. Extremely easy battery change over to take the backpack battery out or to put in the AP batteries, two AP batteries in the adapter to run it on the same batteries as your handheld equipment. The blade system is very different than other mowers. Being twin bladed, the grass only has to go from here to there before it's shoved back into the box, which should make a big difference for collection because it hasn't got to go as far. Also, these blades have actually got two cutting edges on them because the way they're designed, you've got two different heights of cut on the blade. So that is chopping up the grass smaller to be able to push it back into the box and hopefully pack it full. I've been saying for years, why don't manufacturers just have a petrol style lawnmower and stick a battery unit on it? Because that's what everyone's used to. They understand what a lawnmower looks like, so they don't have to go in and reinvent the wheel. Well, Toro have done exactly that because this is their petrol machine with a battery unit on top of it. It's still got a big solid aluminium deck on it, nice big rubbery wheels and simple, simple controls. Individual height control on each wheel, a metal rear deflector, fabric grass bag, solid commercial handles, 
Extremely simple controls that everyone understands. A front lift bar, an easily accessible removable key, a solid aluminium cutting deck, two mode blade speed, so auto to use the load sensor so it knows when it's in short or long grass, or max if you really want to use it at full power all the time. So Milwaukee entered the commercial mower market last year to be able to run on the same battery platforms as their M18 drills, impacts, grinders, saws. Did we think that they'd be able to produce a commercial mower on that platform? Probably not, but here it is. So it is the lightest mower we've got here today at 38 point something kilos. So if you're lifting it in the back of vans or pickups or up steps, it's probably quite a good option. So it can run on the same batteries as our other tools, just two of them in here turning into a 36 volt machine, all under the cover. It has a steel deck, single height adjustment on one lever, easy fold handles, just pop each clip on each side and they can fold over for storage or to be able to easily put in the back of your van. Which also makes for three different height adjustments for the taller or shorter gardener. It's got adaptive drive, so you can change the speed settings here, but then you've got your control lever on the back to be able to gauge it and have a maximum speed for the grass you're cutting. The Makita does seem to be very robust. It looks a bit like a tank and they have built it for purpose. Nice big rubber wheels, which makes it much, much easier to push through rough terrain. A nice, easy, accessible lift carry handle. Single height adjustment on one lever. Robust handle design, solid and robust controls with your keypad here for your different modes on and off and your speed control. The advantages of different battery options, so you can run it with a backpack battery or with the adapter, you can put your 18 volt drill batteries into the same machine. Side discharge flap and nice simple underbelly design. Karcher's offering to the professional market has some different features than the other. Folding handles for easier storage which you normally only see on domestic machines. So to see it on the commercial machine is very handy. And then that can clip in on the sides there, take the grass box off, and then you can stand it up on its back for storage or in a van. So on all other mowers that I've known, you've had a grass flap on the back. You lift up the grass flap and you put the grass box on. But with this one, you don't do that because you've actually got magnets in where the grass box sits, which tells the mower that there's something on the back because you either put the grass box on or the mulch plug. So you've got to have something in there for this one to work. So the Karcher has two 36 volt batteries, but it only uses one at a time. Once it's used one up, you've got the little key here with prongs on each side. You just turn that over so you can start using the other battery. Nice thing about that, you can take the other battery out and charge it while the other one's being used. The Karcher's batteries are very different than others for the main reason. It doesn't just tell you the percentage that is left in your battery. It also tells you how many minutes you've got left using this machine. And single height adjustment on one button. So just push it in the button and then on the side it will tell you how many centimetres of height of cut you've got. So AS Motor have a heritage in making commercial machinery and they have teamed up with Ego because they've got the powered by Ego engine unit, as I like to call it, on the top. It is powered by Ego batteries because Ego themselves are yet to bring out a commercial rotary mower. Fingers crossed they'll do it one day. But for now, we have got the AS Motor powered by Ego. Great combination. Narrow front wheel so you don't trample so much grass before you cut it. Individual height control on each wheel. Offset mowing control. So when you're up against walls, banks or ponds, you can actually stand to the one side of the mower and still carry on mowing. Eco and turbo mode, a blade design that you'd expect to see on a petrol machine. Brake capability. So if you're on a slope and you're mowing, but you need to stop, empty the grass box or change the battery, it's actually got a brake on it. So when you can roll it forward and back and then you let it go, it actually puts the brakes on so it's not going anywhere. Now that on a slope is brilliant. And if you already run Ego tools, all these batteries from the AS products will fit into your Ego tools as well and vice versa. Right, so first test is going to be the bagging test. How much grass can we fit in these collectors and how full can they make them? So we've got a nice big lawn. We're going to mow until the grass box is full and then we're going to weigh the boxes to see how much each box holds. Right, still at first. So each mower we're going to set at roughly the same height and it's going to be on the full power mode on each machine to make it as fair as possible to see how full those grass boxes can get. Right, let's do it. Oh, 
I think we're full. We are full. Let's have a look in there. There we are, as you can see, that's full. Right to the top, brim full of grass. Let's weigh it. So the steel has packed the box fairly full. Right, there's eight kilos of grass. Let's empty it and see how much it weighs. Right, empty the steel. 2.9 kilos, so what's that? 5.1 kilos of grass. Right, it's Toro time. Let's turn it up to the max, pull in the handle, press the button, up she fires, and off we go. I guess full. Oh yes, she is. So from the flap, it's full of grass. Right, so the Toro has filled it fairly full. Let's weigh it. And we've got 7.3 kilos. Let's empty it. 2.7 kilos empty. So it holds 4.6 kilos of grass. Milwaukee time. Right, let's fire her up. Wow. Full power. Yes, we are very full. Right, there we go, look. She is piping full, and even the chute is all full as well. Right, let's get a wade. So the Milwaukee is jam-packed, jam-packed full of grass, right. 8.4 kilos full, and two kilos empty. So 6.4 kilos of grass in the Milwaukee box. Right, Makita time. Oh, yes it is, right, fire her up. What? And we're away. <laughs> it's full. Well, I say full, it's stopped picking up because the chute is jam packed. The grass isn't that wet, but we're looking about a third of a grass box full. Anyway, got to be fair, let's go and weigh it. So unfortunately the Makita did block up, so there's not, it's not full by any means, but you know, it's cutting the same grass, so I think it's fair. In there, a total of 4.7 kilos and empty 1.9. So it's 2.8 kilos of grass. Karcher time. Hold the handle in, press the button. On max, let's go. we are. I'm sure we're full. Are we full? Yeah, we're full. Right, this is quite impressive actually. For that box is absolutely rammed full. It's literally, you can see the layers of the grass in the grass box. Let's go and weigh it. So the Karcher is rammed pack full of grass. You can still see it's literally piling up in layers there. 8.4 kilos. Two kilos. It's a 6.4 kilos of grass. Right, time for the Ego powered AS motor. Right, fire her up. She's in turbo. Let's go for it. Woo! Jumping. Oh, she's full. No, she is. She's full. Right, let's have a look inside. Oh yeah, she's full. Full to the brim. Right, there we go. Again, the AS is pretty full. 7.9 kilos. And empty is 2.8. So it's 5.1 kilos of grass. So for the benefit of science, I'm gonna run the Makita again, because I'm sure it picks up more grass than that. There must have been something else at play there. So let's give it a go, another go. I don't give many things from two chances. Right, 
Do you stop picking up? No. Right, that doesn't seem to have made too much difference. It's still only I'll pull that out. Ending the chute as I did before, exactly the same. It's a little bit more grass in it, but not masses. So yeah. Okay, I gave it two chances. It's only fair. Just remember this grass is dry. It has been a beautiful day for cutting grass. Obviously it's a wet day, wet grass weighs a lot more. So I'll let you do the calculations yourself for that at home. Right, next test is how low can they go and will they stall? And if they don't, we'll take them to longer grass and see what they can do. So we're gonna put them on the lowest setting at full power and do a strip each and see if they can complete the strip. If they complete the strip, they move on to the next stage. Lower setting, full power, slower speed. Let's do it. It's made it to the end. What more can you ask for? Right, Toro time. I didn't even question that, but it doesn't cut as low as the still. Right, full power. Milwaukee time. Very similar to the Toro in height, but not as low as the still. Right, Makita, full power. Slow speed, James. Now we're away. That is definitely the lowest we've cut. And it powered through that. Right, Karcher time, lowest setting. On. Slowest speed, and we're going. That is slow. Not the lowest cut, but the slowest cut, without a doubt. That, it's got like a creeper gearbox on it. Right, the AS. In turbo. Let's do it. Cracking job, I think that is the lowest cut of them all. So those six mowers, just to put this in context, have cut five, six inches of grass down to an inch and below. I think that's pretty impressive. It, the, the amount of torque that a battery mower produces to be able to get through that. But look at it, it has done a cracking job. Yes, some cut lower than others and some cut slower and they do faster, there's differences, but they have all done the job. You know, I wouldn't ever recommend taking six inches of grass down to one inch in one swipe, but I wanted to show you what these mowers can do. And I'm impressed that all six of them have done it. And look, bear in mind, this is, this is six inches of thick field grass taken down to an inch, sort of five inches of grass, and it's hoovered it all up. It's hardly left a crumb. I am super impressed with all six of them for doing that. So that is part one of commercial battery powered mowers because we're gonna take it further. Oh yes, because all these mowers can mulch. Some of them can side discharge. And we also want to know how thick a dense grass they can cut. And the one thing we haven't covered yet is run times. So we're gonna do that in part two. So please make sure you subscribe, like this video, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on part two. But we're Machinery Nation and we bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about tools and machinery. We hope to see you soon. Cheerio.